Hi guys, um, happy Monday. Hope you're doing all right today. Um, today we're going to be looking at doing some um, art on letters, really. Um, it's kind of, if you want to have a Google, um, you probably want to look at male art. But um, I'm not going to be able to pull off saying that for a whole video, so I'm just going to say decorated envelopes. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing you, um, the image has kind of kicked off this idea, um, and it's some decorated envelopes by Matisse. So have a look at these. Hi, so that's some nice envelopes, um, decorated letters that Matisse sent his pals. Um, so I thought that given we're all a part of this time and um, we could uh, make some snazzy letters and send them to folk or just give them someone who's in your house or somebody who's bringing you shopping or write a letter to your future self. I think that's quite a fun one. Um, you can maybe write to yourself this time next year and blip. Man, remember that? Right. So whoever and whatever your situation, there's someone we can give a nice message to. Um, so let's have a look at a few more examples. So we're just going to look at a few designs to get those creative juices flowing, get those ideas going. Um, and first up, we're going to look at some ones that are mostly pattern based. This is a nice example here with just some geometric doodling. So just getting a pattern and repeating it over and over. Here's another where they've used tape to create the lines um, and in between they've used some watercolour um, so that's quite a nice wee one if you've got some watercolour around. In this one they've got some fancy tape and put that across the envelope and then inside the gaps between the tape they've put some lovely geometric doodles so if you've got nice tape this is quite a nice straightforward one to do. This is one of my personal favourites. I love how expressive it is. Um, so just grab some different coloured pencils and go a bit wild. Lastly, an abstract one using acrylic paint. So just using shape and colour in no particular way, but an outstanding outcome. Next up, if you're not really feeling like drawing, but you've got some um, glue around or you've got a little picture or clipping or something that you think the person that you're going to give your thing to um, would really like. Um, here's some collage examples. Here's some examples where uh, people have made their envelope into a lovely landscape. I think they're really nice. Um, you can maybe do your view at your window or something around you or a favourite place. Um, so have a wee look at these. Then here's some last ones where people have just drawn lovely, lovely pictures all over it. And most of them are floral or birds. Um, there's quite a wide variety of styles. You can go quite simple or some people have done some incredibly detailed pictures. It's up to you whatever you go for. Um, okay. So hopefully that's got those creative juices flowing and you maybe got a few ideas um, going around your head. Um, so now let's have a think about how we can go about this. So step one, you need to decide who your letter is for. Um, so we kind of ran through a few of those before. So it can be 
one, somebody you've thought about recently, old friend, family that lives further away, two, it can be yourself, write yourself a letter, you're really great, and uh, maybe give future self some wisdom from you just now, something you might forget or something that you've noticed recently that you don't want to forget, and um, you could give it to somebody that's maybe helping you out during the lockdown, maybe you've got support workers coming in or um, somebody from mutual aid, a volunteer, um, you can send or give them a letter. Um, aye. You could post the coach house a letter if you want. Um, if you have a wee Google, you can find our address. Post us a letter. I love letters. Um, I'm going to do a letter to Hazel today uh, because she's been really nice to me. So I'm going to send her a nice letter. So, what are we going to send? Well, that depends. Do you have envelopes in the house? If so, great. Use one of them. Fabulous. Well done you for being really organised. Um, if you don't have any envelopes, maybe you're a person that opens your post really carefully. Not me. Uh, but if you open your post really carefully, you can recycle letters that you've been sent. Um, and that's really useful. It's also recycling, good for the planet. Yes! If you don't have any of that, you can just use a bit of paper and make it into a postcard. So you write on one side and decorate the other. Or you can make your own envelope out of paper. So this was an A4 bit of paper. And I fold it up to about here. And then you can either fold over the top or you can fold in these wee corners and fold it over and then tape, glue or staple the sides and then you've got a wee envelope. So it's up to yourself if you want to use an envelope, make an envelope or make a postcard. How are you going to get it to them? So, if you're just going to give it to them either because they live with you or you'll just give it to them when you next see them at some point, um, that's fine. You don't need to really worry about an address or leaving a place for a stamp because you're just going to write their name on it. Um, if you are, however, going to send it by post, um, make sure you leave space in your design where you can put a stamp um, and also write their address so the postie can see it and um, so it's going to get to them so you don't waste your money on letters that don't get there. So I've got my envelope ready now and the thing we've got to think about is what are we going to put on it? Um, and my sort of tip would be unless you've got a, a beautiful idea ready or you've seen one of those examples and you're like perfect doing it and um, I would try and make it as personal for the person you're sending it to as possible so you know what do they like um, do you have any like little in jokes or anything what's their favourite colour you know that sort of thing and um, something that'll make them smile and um, so for hazels I'm going to draw a beautiful hazel tree and I'm also going to draw some eggs on it because um, she always eats smelly eggs near me and I hate it but that's okay because I love her so it's alright um, Alright, so let's get drawing. If you're doing a postcard, you'll have one side to decorate and one side to write on with their address and whatever you're going to write. But if you're using an envelope, you actually have three surfaces to take advantage of if you would like. So you've got the front, obviously, and where you might need to put on an address and a name. You've got the back, but you've also got in here as well. So you don't have to do anything on all three sides, but they're there if you want them, you know? 
I'm going to take inspiration from this design because one, I really like it and two, Hazel's favourite colour is red. Right, so here is my finished envelope. So I've got my pattern on my front, which is a hazel tree. I've got Hazel's name in the sun because she is radiant like the sun. I've continued the pattern up here and also on the back where I've got my eggs and also a continuation of the tree. Um, all right, so you copy that one if you want or you can go back and look at some of the other examples we've got there and if you're feeling super fancy you can carry on your decoration into your letter if you're feeling super 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 bonds for it um all right so now we've got to think about our letter so obviously i'm not going to show you my letter because that's my private correspondence um but let's have a wee think about things that you could put in your letter because letter writing is a bit of a lost art apparently um so doesn't maybe come natural to us all maybe we're all used to instant messenger and all that a bit more and um, but the important thing to remember is that it doesn't need to be a huge long story it can just be one sentence and um, especially at the moment people will be just pleased to hear from folk and that the time that you've put into making them a lovely envelope and writing the letter will be appreciated no matter really what's inside it so it's enough to just say, I was thinking of you, so I decided to write to you. And that would be a really nice thing to read without anything else. But here are a few more ideas of things that you could pop in a letter. Um, so here they are. Alright, so happy envelope decorating and letter writing, whatever form that's taking for you today. Um, and I hope this has been a little bit interesting or useful. Um, Alright, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the history of sending art by post, I've put some links below in some interesting articles and um, artists that have been working with the postal service. So today's joke is so i walked past the post office today and there was a sign in the window saying that they sell stamps by the book i'm just pleased they're following the rules oh, um okay guys have a nice week um speak soon take care